Will, come on, take it away. Right. Okay, so the debate this week, Saint versus Verney, is going to be about the sweeper system. That's why we've got the Waterford jersey in the background behind us as well. Okay. Uh, we decided beforehand, we had a coin toss, to decide who was going to pick their side. And we, had no, we had no coin and we ended up tossing We ended up tossing card. his laser card, I think, to try and decide. <laughs> uh, Michael Verney won the toss, so ultimately he got to decide which side he wanted to pick on this one. And the debate this week is, should Waterford retain or drop the sweeper? So Michael Verney, we're going to get 60 seconds up on the clock. First of all, you need to tell us why you think they should retain the sweeper, because your argument is they weren't going to keep the sweeper. Are we on the clock? I think we're on the clock. Just start it. Here we okay, go. Yeah, perfect. Um, yes. I think when you've played a system like they have played, they've played it 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, so they've played a system for five years. I think it would be a massive culture shock for that group of players who were all introduced to County Hurling during Derek McGrath's reign if they were to go and play a different style. I just think... Maybe not next year, but I think this year they will be more comfortable playing that style. I think it plays to the strengths that they have. They have no, I would say, outstanding forwards that are going to do an unbelievable amount of damage on the scoreboard. So this kind of helps their style. They'll play it around the field, they'll put up a big tally of points. I also would have question marks about Tyg de Borca has, ne- has rarely marked a man at county level. I think he plays the sweeper role really, really well. And I just think everyone talks about systems and styles of play to suit teams. The sweeper suits Waterford. He's done that even with about eight seconds to go. He must have some other points or something you want to say about him in the eight he seconds. He just ran out of juice because no, he, he knows he's had nothing with this argument. You're happy enough, you're just going to declare. Declare. All right, so Michael Verney making the argument no, that Waterford shouldn't be dropping the sweeper. Uh, Shane Stapleton, you're going to make the argument that Fanning and the team should be making the decision this year then to hurl in a different style. Derek McGrath's gone, new style. We'll get 60 seconds on the clock. Convince go. Like, the thing is, does Park Fanning want to come in and be known as someone who's just trying to uh, evolve slightly Derek McGrath's style? Is he going to tell his players again, we don't trust our forwards, or backs enough to go out there and win the match 15 on 15, or close to it? Because we all know that hurling isn't strictly the traditional formation anymore. Anyone can play the sweeper. Tyg de Bork is brilliant at it. Dara Fies went in the all Ireland semi-final in 2017 and showed it could be just done, done just as well. Now, you look at all those forwards that came through for Watford when they were winning all Ireland minors and under-21s, and you ask... Has the likes of Patrick Kern, has the likes of Shane Bennett, Stephen Bennett, Jake Dillon, all these players, have they come in and developed as inter-county senior players? No, they haven't, because every day they're going out and playing six on five, they're just chasing shadows all day, and they've no chance to actually show how good a hurlers they are, and they actually are excellent forwards. So imagine you put in Morris Shanahan there, where he doesn't have to cover 80 yards of space constantly, and say, we're going to hit good ball into you, and you're going to get 2-5 for us today. Park Mann, he's a brilliant forward, Austin Gleeson, they have loads of, yeah, get rid of it. Right, go on. You both, you both made your point. Obviously, the belt is on the line, right? I'm going to put how does about one of your points to each other, and then I can pick the winner pretty easily. So, the first point that he's made is that anyone can play the sweeper. That's it's a limited system. That's anyone a, can do That's it. a horrible argument. They have about maybe two players that can play the sweeper. I would say Dara Fives and Tyg de Bork can play, the, can play, can play, all right, can play the system very, very... Austin Gleeson, very, very, no. Has he ever played? Has he really played properly in that sweeper Do you think he could role? do it? Like he's a drop-back centre-back for a couple of years at under-21s. I'm, not, talk, I'm do. not talking about can he do it, I'm talking about has he done it. They obviously maybe don't trust him in that role. I don't think anyone can play the sweeper, and I think it suits their players perfectly. Does Parik Fanning care if, if um, Derek McGrath's system is the one that wins in All-Ireland? I highly doubt it. He's the man in charge, I, do, I highly doubt it. Right, his key point back to you then is that they've played this system, they've been very close to making the breakthrough using the system, the players are indoctrinated in it, and it's the best thing to use. Well, the problem is they're not scoring enough up front. They're not the sort of team that would score 25 like a Tipperary or a Kilkenny. And if they want to kick on to the next level, they've got to give their forwards a better opportunity, which is to not be outnumbered constantly, and trust the team to actually go out and score more than the opposition. Right. It's my pick on this one. Everyone's probably going to disagree on social media about this. Give me that belt. I reckon we've got a new champion this year. I'm not entirely convinced that uh, Waterford need to ditch things. And the new! <laughs> it's nonsense. <laughs> and for the sake of the fact oh. that he spent about two grand on this belt, we have to let him keep it. This, this is a joke, cool. and I'm happy to boot you out now at this stage <laughs> because of that. Which is perfect timing because you had to go and read the news elsewhere. Yeah. So.